Ah, welcome back to Sokan and Island where I'm soaking you guys and we're always smiling but I am uh, I'm a little bit disappointed today because I was supposed to start off this video going to my favorite street food vendors. Alright, so let me fill you guys in on the story. So basically I haven't filmed for the past couple of days. I've just been walking around the block getting to know the people here, the food and of course listening to the language. However, I plan to do a video with them, you know, making empanadas and arepas but unfortunately i came here about 12 o'clock it is a sunday and everything is sold out The plan ended up changing to come into this restaurant here and let me tell you, in today's video I'm going to actually be eating a, oh my god, a capybara. I cannot believe I'll be eating a capybara today but I just tried a bit of it and it was just amazing. So we are in here right now and it's going to be an absolute vibe. I cannot believe capybara. Wow. So we're going to have a, a mixed up, which is a mix of different meats. So carne, capybara. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice capybara en, en español? Nombre. Chiguido. 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 <laughs> well, I'm super excited. I tried a bit of the meat that's at the front there, and it is más delicioso. Esto es delicioso. Sí. Capybara. <laughs> I cannot wait to try an entire no, no, meal of I told you that you had to go out with me so that you... Ah, I got Soy it. Soy la mejor. <laughs> sí, sí. Soy sí. la mejor guía turista. Sí. Sí. ¿Mi turista? Sí. Sí. Okay. Yo soy tu guía. Uh, Soy el turista. Uh, Te traje a comer chigüiro. Mm. Yo estoy feliz. Sí. Más feliz. Más feliz. Sí. Uh, me, ¿Qué es eso? Yo gusta hablar con hijo. Capybara. This one. Mixed up. Chorizo. Lucilla. That's it. My favorite. Plano. Platano. Si. Maduro. Platano maduro. Platano maduro. También. Si. También also. Mira. So, esta chiquito. Chapibara. Aracelis. Ara. Ara. Sí. Aracelis. Ara. 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 Sí. Okay, so these are the people that I've met thus far and it's just been amazing. Man. Pero lo más rico que fue era la comisión. Gracias. Sopa de mondongo. Mondongo. So. Sopa de mondongo. ¿Lo has probado? Okay. Vale. Sí, okay. ¿Sí? ¿La pruebas? Un poco. Sí, un poco. Para que se lo comen. Mira. 
Fuego naturales guanabana. Sí. Con leche. Con leche. Ok. Entiende. So, it is that fruit guanabana with uh, milk. Yesterday I tried mango with milk. And let me tell you, it sounds crazy coming from a Jamaican, but it was amazing. Delicioso. Estoy feliz. I need to go Google Translate what Guana Bana is. So I just figured it out. Guana Bana is sour sap. Bro. <laughs> We have this in Jamaica, like this is sour sap with milk. <laughs> Me encanta Colombia. Comida excelente. See? Mm. Wow, wow. Martin, cheers. Cheers. Mi amigo. Salud. Salud. Sí. En español, salud. Salud. Guana, Bana. Delicioso. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Tortilla. 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 Costillas. Costillas. Sí, costillas. De cerdo. De cerdo. Costillas. Okay. This is like um, pork ribs, basically. I've had this in Mexico before. It is delicious. Everything on the plate is just very smoky, very jerk-esque, minus the spice, the meat. Pulls apart so easy. Guys, let me tell you. As a Jamaican, plantain, platano, platano. Planting is good anywhere in the world. Mi favorito, capybara, chorizo. This is why it's important to make sure that when you're in your Spanish class, you actually learn something. This here is actually. I just figured it out at the end of it. It is a blood sausage. That is what it is. I just had a blood sausage. And that kind of explains why it tasted a little bit um, mushy and um, it's almost like a kidney, based, or no, sorry, liver. It's very livery, but it's like a very blended out liver, basically. And then the rice inside adds back to the texture of the mushiness. And yeah, it's quite interesting. Not very flavorful, but I learned something today. Blood sausage. Morris? 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 Morcilla. Morcilla. Blood sausage. La papa, potato, very soft, very good. Wow, needless to say, that was an amazing meal. Yeah, it's a bit tricky for me to film everything for you guys because I'm using a camera that I'm not very familiar with because when you're in Colombia, you have to be very mindful, watchful of your personal belongings. So there goes that. Um, yeah, the entire bill was uh, 1,000, no, 150,000 uh, Colombian pesos, which equates to about 37 US dollars. and. It fed four people. That's pretty amazing. So we are now headed to um, Parque Simon Bolivar's Sea, uh, and hopefully I can find some street food out there that we can uh, try. Cuca. Cuca. Artesanal. Okay. Right. Si. Si come cuca. Pa comer cuca.
¿Cuánto, cuánto cuesta? Mil pesos. Mil, mil pesos. Mil. Ah, sí, una para probar aquí. Es artesanal, hecha de panela en casa. En casa. Con harina de trigo. Oh. So essentially there is a festival happening here um, and these are papagayo? So, papagayo? Yeah, so kites. Yeah, so we're getting kites and just all around us you can just see people just buying food. There's a bunch of street food here. But yo, I am full. No tengo hambre. I am not hungry at all. But yeah, it's a vibe. You can just smell all of the, the burning coals. They're making like hot dogs. I had this corn that I will share with you on another video. It's amazing. It's like, oh, geez, one of the best corns I've ever had. Entrada del Parque Simón Bolívar. Si, si, manzana dulce. Yeah. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Maja. ¿Cuánto cuesta? ¿Cuánto cuesta? ¿Cuánto es chocolate. Chocolate. Sí. Brown. Y... Caramelo. 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 Sí. Prefiero. Sí. ¿Sí? Ok. Manzana. Dulce. <laughs> My Spanish here is a... Uh, like... Bebe. That's okay. Uh, I'll speak broken Spanish until I eventually get it. But um, this is a, it's like a caramel apple. Well, it is a caramel apple. And uh, mas lluvias, mas lluvias. See, a lot of rain is about to come. Since I've been here, it's been raining every single day. There is so much food <laughs> that I can try. Ah, uh, calma. <laughs> but um, yeah. We're gonna try something else possibly or I don't know man, I'm just going with the flow here. We got caught in the rain. <laughs> no genial. <laughs> See? Genial. Festival de verano. Mas hueva. Mas lluvia. Mas lluvia. Mas lluvia. Nos mojamos. Ahora toca chocolate caliente. Hot chocolate? Café? No, 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 Guys, so I told him that in Jamaica, this looks like a, a buya, yeah? Cuca, in Jamaica, buya. Avocado or pear, aguacate. I told them it goes together, mixta. Mixta. <laughs> if they will try, tell me. Dime. Hmm? No? Aguacate con esto. A ver, prueba tú. No, es que tenemos caramelo de menta. Ah. El caramelo, el hall. Yeah, he's eating hall, so it's cold. Sí. No, prueba. algo de caramelo. No, por ahí me gustó. No, tiene que quedar bien. ¿Y? Jamaica, locos. No, no. Jamaica, locos. No. She said, she said we're crazy for doing that. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Café. Café. Chocolate. It's in there, see? Mm -hmm. Caliente, rico. Mm. Pero aguacate? Aguacate, fuca. Crazy? No, no. <laughs> es genial. Hmm? Sí. Coco. Guanábana, coco, queso, yeah. maracuyá, saltifón. Guanabana, coco, coco, no guanabana, no, coco, 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 sí. maracuyá, salpicón, coco, coco, verde que es limón, 
Sí. De limón, este puro verde. Coco. Coco. Ah, ¿cuántos son? ¿Cómo es? 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 Yo, mi ex, mi extraña Jamaica clima. Soy the cool weather. Very cool right now, but we're heading home. Guys, I'm just noticing that yesterday I knew nothing. I basically was just going with the flow, man. I was like really being ragdolled about everywhere. Like I knew what I wanted to do, but then we just went off onto this whole tangent. And funny story, it was amazing. All right, let me try to figure out what happened yesterday and tell it to you guys. So, let's get closer. So I asked my friend yesterday and she said, it is called the Festival de Verano. No, Festival de Verano, which is actually like what's happening now. It is the summer festival. Unfortunately, yesterday it was raining crazily. Now it says every year, no, every, yeah, boy. The stage fright, it feels like I can't read. Every year in August, the residents of Bogota commemorate the founding of the city, which is August 6th, and enjoy about 200 cultural and recreational activities. Blah, 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 blah. I don't forget into the entirety of it. So that's what happened yesterday. Unfortunately, it rained, but there were like several activities and there was just a lot of street food. But in a nutshell, I can say last night was even crazier. If you don't know, Bogota is pretty cold and I forgot to put on my PJ. So right now I am cold as hell. I'm gonna throw on my sweater and I'll tell you exactly what happened last night. So my new friends in Colombia invite me up. And if I'm to be honest, I think I was breaking every single rule I heard about or I set for myself, but I usually have pretty good instincts with people. Anyway, so they invite me up and you know, it's her and her brother and her kid. And um, yeah, we were just there talking about the business and what happened in the day in terms of the festival and so forth. And of course, it's an opportunity to learn more Spanish. Now, I think what happened? I think it's her, her her aunt's husband comes there and then we go out for drinks and now we go out for drinks and i'm there having drinks with them and let me tell you i'm a light drinker and that's another rule i will share everything on this over on soy sauce in terms of the things you should do or not do based off videos that i watched or things that i might be seeing for my own self anyway and i'm there having drinks after drink after drink and to end it all, I think I probably had like nine drinks, but thankfully, I guess in better consciousness, I was perfectly fine. I don't know if the red stripe in Jamaica is stronger or the beer over here is weaker. I have no clue. But <laughs> the funny story is this guy was really pouring his heart out. I mean, he was it wasn't really a funny story, but he was pouring his heart out, you know, in terms of you know, relationship situations. And yeah, I walked back home. That was probably the loneliest walk I ever had. But luckily, where I was having the drink was like three minutes away from where I lived. Got back home and then I headed back here. And then that was the end of the day. All in all, let me say, man, I think I usually get lucky while I'm traveling. I usually end up meeting people with good spirits and good hearts, and I usually end up getting introduced to some really good food. Today, I had a chance to try capybara, and yeah, I'm getting to know people here, and I'm learning a little bit of Spanish as we go along. So yeah, that's that. I hope you guys go over to Soy Sauce and check out that video where I will give you as much information and tips 
while you're traveling in Colombia or wherever I'm at and just entertaining videos. So I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, yeah, I'm going to go out there probably today or tomorrow and try something else new. So I hope you subscribe, drop a comment and stick around for the next video. Remember two things, love, nature and adaptation. My fingers are not working. Love, nature and adaptation. And always remember to keep the link.